what's up, guys? Uh, this is Frosty. I'm trying something else. I'm trying to film with my uh, webcam, see if it's better quality than uh, my handy camera I've been using. Um, so, one thing that I've been noticing a lot of people like doing is tutting, and um, there's also there's different ways of tutting. There's the finger tuts, you know, the different uh, things you want to do. Um, shapes uh, and there's king tuts which I think it's easier to get a hold of but once you get the idea behind that like the whole premise and framework behind that then you can do the same thing with fingers um, it's easier to catch on and uh, you can, it's like a real form of dance too and then you can also it looks cool with lights and it looks cool without it so it's something you can learn um, there really is, like, even though you think there's just a bunch of angles and shit like that, there's, uh, you think there's not a lot of possibilities to do. And there's probably too many possibilities. You might get overwhelmed. So, a way I found it, I mean, there's different ways to teach this thing. Um, there's no right way or wrong way to learn it or teach it. I just thought of a way that uh, helped me learn it and it helped a few of my friends learn it. It's kind of like a simpler step-by-step -step sort of thing. So, you start off with one set of moves you can do. Do that until you're really comfortable, and then add more sets, and then do that to your couple. Keep going until you have like, you know, shit load of like moves in your vocabulary. So, um, the basic thing you want to do, it's not rocket science. You have right angles, right? Um, as far as you can, as straight as you can. You don't want to uh, ducks, like you know, halfway or like this or whatever. Um, if you want, you can do it on purpose. Like try to cut like this. Like it, it creates different illusions. But uh, the gloving could look cool, but you know, you usually want to keep straight lines. So what you can do is tracing, right? Tracing over things, um, forming boxes, um, and then you can also don't be afraid to break out of the box. So like this, oh, I have angle. Don't be afraid to go sideways. You can uh, create different illusions, like go forward, back, and stuff like that. So side over. Don't forget to go. Or you can go over your head. Uh, or uh, stuff like that, who knows. So, the easy way to start, I think, is um, just getting the basic motions down of your arms. Uh, so, start with fists. Like, you're not going to be really doing it with fists when you do a real life show or dance, but it gets the idea done. So, just hold your hands like fists, right? Right angles, and just honestly, just fuck with it. Like, if you have hinges, you can go like this. You can shift over, and uh, you know you can even do hinges, and you can just honestly fuck with it. There's more I can tell you. And once you get used to moving your body like that, then try putting. Uh, just do it till you can go comfortably. You can follow some beats. Um, you're used to moving your body like. It doesn't have to stay in one place. You can shift it over, go more up different levels. Forward and then uh, back. You put your hand into it and do weird shit. I don't know. Just come up with stuff. Once you do fists, um, pinches and stuff. That was that was cool. Uh, flat hands. Uh, don't even try twisting or anything. Just try this. It'll be pretty much the same. You got your angles. You go through. Go up. And. Uh, no, I don't know. Honestly, it's pretty much going through the same motions with different wrists. That's pretty much it. Once you have that, you can try twisting it, rotating angles. So, for example, you have this, this will look better this way, right? And then go, what's this look like? Uh, next, you can do, from that point on, have a hinge forward, right? And you want I think this is the easy way to bend for most people. This way, you gotta stretch sometimes to get it like you know closer to right angle. I don't have a right angle, but I just close this hands kind of less. But you can just you know do stretches and stuff. Um, so once you have that possibility, you'll be like, oh wait, I have this right. And then bam, I have an angle. Uh, you can do. different things and then you can straighten it go back and then uh, fade it again so once you can do stuff like that I mean it's not much to teach it's just like a way for you to get used to the motion so you can do your own thing um, 
another way you can do is just besides doing like this and like this, right? Don't forget, like if you're stuck or something, say, oh, maybe I can flip this. Now, bam, you got another move. Or like here, you can even go like this. Bam, this. You're stuck. You made an angle. Now what do you do? Well, maybe I can go like this. Angle, angle. Uh, it's just flipping your wrists. So, uh, flipping your wrists. Uh, it's honestly, if you do it out of context, but you can don't forget, like you can seriously do this. Like if you're stuck here, bam, you have a sideways thing, bam, and then it can do like crazy, like I don't even know, just uh, just do random things. Once you got used to doing this, you can feel free to turn angles, like in the middle of a thing. Like, like I'm not the best at all, but. You can already see like how you have more possibilities when you do stuff like that. See, like you can even like start fucking around, just like I don't know, start doing different animations or even rotating. You know, um, one thing you can also do is like instead of just like flipping or turning, just get artistic with it. Just like, for example, instead of going bam, right? Pushing it, you can go. You can make it into like a finger roll in a way. Or, uh. I don't know, for example, like this, you have like prayer position, right? Finger roll, down. Finger roll, up. This. You have angle. Angle. Uh. Stuff like that. So. I know it's probably not the kind of tutorial you're waiting for. Just do this, do that, but. Honestly, just work your way up until you get more used to dealing with more possibilities, if that's the way to put it. Um, don't forget you can go forward, uh, back, sideways, turn your whole body, you can even just like go around, that. You can even like uh, do hinges, I don't even know. Just really, it's just brainstorming your head, so. Once you got King Tusk like that, the whole idea between hinges, um, sliding, tracing, breaking the boxes, creating boxes, right? Um, you'll be able to say, oh look, I can make a box here, I have a hinge, I can slide, right? I can break the box and then come up with something new. So, I'll do another tutorial more on finger tusk, but for King Tusk, uh, what, that's mostly like, you can get the idea behind it. If you're standing up, not sitting down doing the light show, if you're dancing, you can move your whole body, create new angles, like, uh, with like, you know, just making angles and stuff. So, once you get those concepts down, it probably be easier to go into finger cuts. You don't have to do it, obviously you can go straight to finger cutting, but it, if you want to know concepts really well, um, instead of memorizing moves, um, Try doing that, it might help you. I'll post a finger tutorial uh, later, and then uh, assuming you already know the concepts, that'll give you different like, positions to start from, different uh, things you can think about when you're doing it. Because everything that applies in, in King Tuts can apply to Finger Tuts, I think, but not everything in Finger Tuts can apply to King Tuts because obviously your fingers have much more uh, possibilities. Like, uh, you know. Oh, and you can do digits too. If you know digits and you do finger touch, it helps a lot. So, hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, write in the comments below. If you have a, want, uh, a tutorial or something in particular, uh, let me know too. And I'll see if I can uh, do what I can about that. Like I said, I'm not really the best, but hopefully um, what I'm sharing helps you as much as it helped me and my friends. So, peace guys. Uh, see you later.